No way of telling what's going to happen tomorrow, or even this afternoon. behind the mangroves. That's better. Now the sun can dry everything out. Only four hours out of Darwin, and already we're putting up the wet weather canvas. We didn't expect this. That southeastern is blowing. Makes quite a short chop. Not really bad, though. It's bound to get worse. I wonder what the others are thinking. They don't seem to be showing any signs. Probably like me, not trying to show it. No sign of seasickness yet, but there's plenty of time to find out. Ahead lies the rugged coast of Arnhem Land, the empty gulf of Carpentaria, the islands of Torres Strait, the Great Barrier Reef, and with any luck, Sydney. I'm Mike's brother, Mel. I'm supposed to be the navigator. Our overloaded little boat can only make five miles an hour. But at least at this speed, we can keep a fairly close eye on the coast. Although I've lost track of our exact position already. This navigating at sea is a lot harder than I imagined. None of us ever tried it before. All it seems to be is a mass of mangroves. I suppose if we keep the land on the right and the sea on the left, we should eventually reach Sydney. The mangrove barrier stretches forever. I can't see anywhere to get ashore. We may have to spend our first night on board the boat. Sleeping on the boat doesn't appeal to any of us. 